Right, hello again. Um, that's us set. The traps traps are set, um, and I'm ready for the change in the weather. The forecast is isn't brilliant, as I said earlier. Um, we're going to get some fairly strong wind shortly, and it's going to turn fairly wet. I think by the end of the day, it'll be very wet. So let's just see how we get on. Um, plenty of time all day today and all day tomorrow. So uh, every opportunity, as they say. We'll see you shortly. Uh, right then, so that's four hours four and a half hours in and um, nothing to report so far um, a full bait change and reposition reposition and baits um, in terms of tactics um, it couldn't be simpler really uh, using just a plain ledger rig on each of the three rods um, current baits I've just put a, a small roach to try a freshwater bait, I had had um, sea, sea fish baits on prior to that. Um, so the baits are currently a roach, um, a piece of lamprey which I've popped up, and a pollen which um, is naturally buoyant, so it pops up as well. The reason for the popped up baits is that this is a very, very weedy water, um, and although the weed is starting to die back a little bit now. Um, popping the baits up just increases the possibility that the fish can, the bait can be seen by uh, any passing pike, uh, of which, as I say, there so far have been absolutely none. Um, anything happens, I'll be back. Turned out nice again. But at least the wind's not blowing. Fingers crossed.
start Sunday morning. So Sunday then, it's a day of sunshine and showers across the country. Again, most frequent out towards the north and the west. Some longer periods of rain perhaps for western Scotland. But in between, there will be some sunshine. And some decent sunshine from Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, down through East Anglia into parts of central, southern and eastern England. Also, some western coasts may fare fairly well through the afternoon where you've got some shelter. But for all of us, it's quite windy as we go through Sunday as well. Not quite as windy as Saturday, but still on the breezy side. And it is going to be feeling cooler. Here are your max temperatures. So 11. Well, that's the first day. And nothing to report. And it got very, very wet towards the end. I was just saying to somebody earlier, I don't think I could catch cold from this water. We'll see how we get on tomorrow. See you in the morning. Cheers. Good morning and day two uh, after a very comfortable night's sleep in the um, in the van um, we're back on the water side and I'm desperate for a blank saver um, I find this water very difficult I've fished it for both the carp and the pike and it's not an easy water um, that's my excuse uh, but anything will do now I don't mind how big it is let's see how we get on Well, that's the blank saver out the way. Now let's just see if we can find one slightly larger. Two. Um, just the one small, small fish so far. It's got a bit breezy as well.
gosh, that's annoying when that happens. That felt like a better fish as well. Um, I can't afford to lose fish, mate. The, uh, I don't get it. I don't get the chance often enough. Home time, I'm afraid. I'll catch up with you when I'm when I'm on the road. Okay, um, so what of the weekend? Well, um, starting with the positives, the um, it was great to be out fishing with one of my long-term fishing pals again, e even if it was at a responsible distance. Um, I guess a lot of you, rather like me, will have had to get qu quite quickly get used to your own company for your fishing over the last few months. Um, so the, the opportunity to be out with a with a pal, as I say, is um, is valuable. Um, of course, the other positive uh, that blank saving fish, a blank saver is always incredibly valuable. Um, I'm very grateful for it. Um, as I say, they, they, when they happen, they're always appreciated. Um, and one of that water, well, it's turned into a bit of a challenge for me, to be honest. Um, it's almost exactly a year ago um, that I first fished the water, um, and that was for the pike. Uh, I fished during the summer for the carp, and those of you that have watched some of my earlier videos may have seen um, may have seen one of uh, the overnighters I did for the carp. Um, and now I'm fishing for the pike again. But on virtually every visit, the place has defeated me. Um, it's a bit of a challenge, as I say now, and I'm fast getting to the point where I have to make a decision about it. Um, I'll either stick at it and try and work it out, and to be honest, I know there are some fabulous specimen carp in there. Uh, I've seen the pictures. Um, and the water, with the stock of fish it's got in it, um, should support some decent pike. Um, I've yet to see one. And so, as I say, it's either stick at it and work it out, or call it quits and move on somewhere else. I need to, uh, I need to give it some more thought. Um, if you've watched this far, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Um, and I will see you again, I hope, very, very soon. Bye for now.